Yo, what's up? Werner von Lohnrod here. Uh, this next one is one I've been meaning to get to kind of for a while. Uh, in two senses, actually. One, because uh, when I first heard about it, I'm like, oh man, I got to get that. But then it sort of took me a while to actually get around to purchasing it. Uh, and then second, after I've had it, I've had it for a while now, and it's taken me a while to actually get around to blogging about it. But I've been meaning to, A, get it right away, and B, blog it right away when I first heard about it way back when. But it, it took me till now. Uh, but it hasn't really been that long. And what I'm talking about is Godfather Don's newest unreleased album, and also sort of his newest album, because it's the last one he recorded, Donnie Brasco on Hydra Records. So these tracks were recorded between 1999 and 2001, sort of at the tail end of Hydra Records, um, when they sort of split up, uh, the label owners, I mean. Godfather Don had been producing more for Screwball than kind of doing his own stuff. And he recorded this album, like I said, it got shelved, it was all unreleased stuff. Uh, it's finally being released now. Uh, and so it's different probably than the Godfather Don you used to, um, He's a little more low energy, he's a little more laid back, he's got just playing a slower flow. Um, it's not bad, it's definitely not as good as Diabolique or, you know, his classic 12-inch singles, but uh, still good stuff. If you're a Godfather Don fan, you'll want to own it. Of course, I'm going to play some clips. Um, but it's definitely, you know, if you're meh, on the fence about Godfather Don, this is definitely not the one to get. You'll want, you know, like I said, you want his, uh, the 90s sessions, you want Diabolique. This is definitely second-tier Godfather Don, but it's still dope. He's still got skills. Um, it's still got that very kind of stripped down, but jazzy production, slightly slower flow and beats, like I said, but it's some good stuff. Like quicksand and bite like pits. 
on my nuts. Why your man like a wide-eyed bitch? Rolling dro and some hype white shit. The five beaters. Dudes gotta love my clip. They ride beavers. Sports cars, minivans. So what probably took me so long to actually getting around to getting this, um, really is that it's unfortunately... CD only. Yeah, I mean, Hydra Records has definitely got on the Godfather Don revival bandwagon. You know, they realized that he's coming out with all that stuff like the F Il Funk Seeker EP and the Cenobites EP and, you know, lots of great 12 inches, Donnie Brasco on DWG, um, Slave of New York EP. So they've definitely picked up on the return of Godfather Don, but they haven't yet picked up, unfortunately, on the return of vinyl. But, uh, and especially if you are a CD fan, this is good news because not only have they released this unreleased album, Donnie Brasco, they've re released. Diabolique on a two CD set. Uh, CDA is a you know the album as you know it and probably already have it in your collection if you're a Godfather Don fan. And then B is the full instrumental set of all the tracks. Then finally they've also released on CD a compilation of all his Hydra 12 inch singles. And his Hydra 12 inch singles are really pretty much all the classics. You know Seeds of Hate, um, Piece of the Action, Steel, um, and even and probably the highlight of it the uh, very very limited. Test Press 1 that was only sort of released through Sandbox, Status, um, that 12-inch, all three tracks from there, all the 12-inch tracks on one CD compilation. So that's pretty cool, too. Again, unfortunately, that's not on vinyl, but uh, except for that one rare Status 12-inch, at least it's all been on vinyl before anyway. So it was a pretty cool CD compilation album from Hydra. For a head like me, though, and probably a lot of you people uh, check my blog, the most exciting of those three, though, is easily Donnie Brasco, because this is pure all unreleased music. You know, all the rest has at least been out in some form or fashion, except for a few of the instrumentals. Uh, it's all been released before, but this is all unreleased. Uh, again, not his best stuff, but still dope, still cool. So, you know, if you're a Godfather Don fan, I do recommend picking it up. It's not a limited price, any of that nonsense. I mean, it's a CD, so what do you expect? Just your standard kind of $15, $16 CD, and it's available pretty much, you know, all the standard hip-hop type sites, so. Donnie Brasco, named after the film, I suppose, named after the real-life character. Godfather Don. Released in 2010, sessions from 1999 to 2001. Till next time, Werner von Lonrod, peace out.